So yesterday I had the pleasure of seeing Avengers Endgame with my son as well as one of my best friends. So we go see the movie, absolutely love it, cannot recommend it enough. And when I get out, my buddy Rod from the band RKVC, he texts me an article and he's like, hey, this might be a video idea. And it's talking about how a specific character in Avengers Endgame is problematic. And I read this and I'm like, oh, oh, oh yeah. I need to make a video about this. But for all of you out there who have not seen Avengers Endgame yet, there is going to be one spoiler of a character. So if you haven't seen it yet, if you don't want the movie spoiled, turn this video off, but make sure you come back because this is definitely, definitely something that we need to talk about. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, I try to pull different topics from TV, movie shows, the YouTube community, pop culture in general, and try to see what lessons that we can all learn from this. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So yeah, my buddy Rod sent me this article and it was about how a character in Avengers Endgame was problematic. And I'm like, what character? Like. Who, like who, who is problematic? And the character they're talking about is Thor. And I'm like, oh my God. And I already knew what was coming and I opened up the article anyways and I read it. And after reading that article, I found that there were actually multiple articles from different websites talking about how Thor was problematic. And mainly the, the bullying, uh, how he was overweight, um, the trauma that he went through and things like that. So. They also talked about his alcoholism. So what are my qualifications to talk about this? I'm not a licensed therapist or psychologist or anything like that, but here are my qualifications. I'm a recovering drug addict and alcoholic with almost seven years clean. I'm somebody who put on over 200 pounds in my addiction and I worked at an addiction treatment center for a little over three years. So I have some experience to talk about this subject. All right, so anyways, here's the article, and I'm gonna be going out of the one from um, Mary Sue, okay? So this first section right here says, in Endgame, Thor's trauma and distress manifest in his retreat from society and into primarily drinking. There was the opportunity for an Avengers movie which will be viewed by millions to explore mental illness, substance abuse, and the process of grieving with sensitivity or even just basic humanity. I know I'm not alone in saying that would have been a much appreciated surprise. Many of us would have felt seen by Marvel Studios' biggest movie to date. All right, like that, like that's ridiculous. When I read that, I'm like, stop, stop it. Like just stop, okay? Like there's a few reasons why that's ridiculous, okay? Like, okay, this is a fictional movie with fictional characters, all right? Now think about this real quick. The Avengers, are trying to undo half of like all living beings being wiped out in the galaxy and people wanted them to include like what? Like a rehab and mental health montage when their priority is saving the galaxy and bringing people back to life. Like that is ridiculous. And that's one of the things like when people get like in outrage culture, just outrage culture, right? They want everything to be included in everything. And here's the thing too, this is completely neglecting like how much they actually did address this. Like this movie addressed that so, so, so much. Like, okay, I lied, there's gonna be multiple spoilers in here because I'm gonna go down the list, okay? First, it showed Steve Rogers in a support group for people who lost people um, after Thanos did his little snap thing, okay? They showed a support group, right? We saw Hawkeye struggle, right? When he lost his family, he turned that into anger and revenge and all of that, okay? It, it showed um, Black Widow, Natasha, how she was trying to find meaning and purpose and continuing uh, running the Avengers and, you know, doing right in the, you know, in the galaxy and everything like that. Like, everybody, like, there was so much story in this. Like, there was even a point, like, halfway through the movie, I'm like, man, I wish there was some more action. And it's because there was so much story in it. They took just about every single character and showed how everybody grieves differently. How everybody grieves differently. So, for them to hone in on Thor, who isolated himself for five years and say like they didn't address this is very, very ridiculous. And here's one of the many issues I have with this article and people freaking out about this. 
you can tell there are people who are looking. They are looking for something to be outraged by. So you get the biggest movie coming out, right? And people are walking in there, not to be entertained, not to escape the reality of what's going on in the world, but they're going in there and they're like, okay, what can I get upset about today? You know what I mean? And when your brain is locked in on that, you're not seeing all of the other ways they did what you're saying they should have done. And like, think about it for a second. Like, what, like the movie was like three hours long. What did they want to do? Like, did they want to like show like therapy sessions with like Thor and like some kind of psychologist in there? Or, or like, what did, what did they want? Like, that's the thing. Like, one of the reasons I say we talk about the problem but focus on the solution is articles like this. They just talk about the problem. They're like, oh, well, there should have been, you know, uh, more representation in like talking about this stuff and showing the process. Like what? What? Explain it. Like explain to us in a logical way how that would have worked. Like, so then right here, they go on to say about how this is a long running joke. Like it's a long running joke about Thor being overweight and everything like that. And, and here's the thing. Like I said, I have experience with this. I have experience, okay? And here, here's where the Avengers has always been like a great, you know, uh, series of movies in the uh, Marvel Cinematic Universe, everything, is because the Avengers, like, they talk trash to each other. Like, they mess with each other. They joke with each other. Thor is somebody who's, like, been this, like, ultra, like, male, like, God, right? And he's like always talking crap to everybody and everything like that. And it's something that continued in this movie, okay? So like me, when I got sober, like me and my buddies, my best friends, we talk trash to each other. I love talking trash. I love it so much. I love receiving it. I love giving it. Like when it's just in this like joking, like friendly way, I love it. And that's one of the reasons I love the dynamics between so many characters in the Avengers is because they did that. So they talk about how Thor was getting bullied throughout the movie. You, so you know what would be more insulting? Do you know what would be more insulting to Thor in that movie? Is if everybody babied him and coddled him throughout the movie. That would have been insulting. Like, tell me this, like, just be honest. Leave me a comment down below. Is it not insulting to you when you're going through something and everybody treats you differently? Like, that's a real question. Like, how many of us want to be treated differently? Like, um, especially when we lose somebody, when we, when we grieve, when we're going through something, right? Like, we want people to be there for us, but when everybody's just, like, walking on eggshells around us and being super careful, like, that is even more insulting. And I don't think this, uh, the author of this article is getting that. Now, the other thing, like I've mentioned earlier, is that they're focusing on the negative. There were so many points where people were there for Thor. Rocket was there for Thor. Um, Hulk, when Hulk went to go like get Thor, like they were there for him. There were countless people in there who were there for him. And that's the balance of this all. Like when I told you like me and my friends talk trash to each other, like we did that constantly and joked around and messed around with each other. But there were also like many, many instances where they were just there for us, where there, we were there for each other and they were there for me and I was there for them, right? And it's this balance, but like, we live in this world where some people, not all people, but some people believe like this should all be like coddling and babying and everything like that. Like while we do need to be there and be supportive for one another when we're going through this like grieving process, like again, it is extremely insulting to just baby somebody, especially when they're the God of Thunder. The next thing is that they're talking about grieving. They're talking about the grieving process and they're talking about the trauma that and distress that Thor went through that led to his alcoholism and weight gain and everything like that. Something that this article neglected to mention is that this was five years later everybody five years later okay we all need time to grieve like we all need time to be in self-pity and just be upset and everything like that Thor was doing this for five years so what's the alternative? What's the alternative? That they were gonna baby him even more? They were gonna promote even longer self-pity? No, there comes a certain point where we gotta get up off our ass and put in some work. And that's what the Avengers did. They got over there and they're like, yo dude, it's been five years, get your ass up, we need to put in work. 
quit wallowing in self-pity. It's time to get out of the problem and get into the solution. That's what they were doing for Thor. And that's what I needed. When I was in depression, when I first got sober and I was still thinking about taking my own life and all that stuff, I needed people to pull my ass out of bed and say, yo, we're gonna go to a meeting. We're gonna go out for coffee. We're gonna go see a movie. We're gonna go play cards. We're gonna go play board games. Get up off your ass and we're gonna do something. Thor was in self-pity for five freaking years, all right? And like, just again, like one of the biggest issues I have is that people like this, it's not everybody, but people like this who wrote this article promote this idea of self-pity and we should all just sit around feeling bad for ourselves. Don't get me wrong, there is a time and a place for that, but how long? How long do we sit around feeling sorry for ourselves? So the last thing I'm gonna touch on to end this thing on a lighter note is, as a fat dude, I am happy as hell that we had some representation in this movie. Did you see that end fight? Did you see that end fight scene though? When Thor just finally suited up and he was doing work, I'm like, I got a fellow chubby dude out there doing work on Thanos and his army. So that was a nice thing. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is what you call the glass is half full, all right? But let me know what your thoughts are on this topic down in the comments below if you've seen Avengers Endgame or if you haven't and you watched this movie anyways, let me know your thoughts on this. Do you think we live in a, a time where there is just outrage culture and people are just trying to find things to get upset about? All right, let me know down in the comments below. Let me know what your thoughts of, of the Avengers, all right? But anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody's supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And if you would like to become a patron, get access to our monthly Q&A, some of the perks and benefits, click or tap right there. All right, thanks again so, so much for watching. I'll see you next time.